Hello guys, welcome to my channel Making IT Simple. In this video, we will simplify the concept of first normal form. We know that a database table can have n number of records present. If this data is not well organized or if it contains redundant data, data manipulation like insertion, updation or deletion on such tables can cause various anomalies or problems. Solution on these anomalies is the process called normalization. This normalization process is used to remove or minimize the redundancy from a table. I have a separate video on normalization and anomalies. Do check that video for better understanding. Links are present in description below. So getting back to the point, this normalization process works through series of stages, which are called normal forms. There are mainly four stages or normal forms. First normal form, second normal form, third normal form and voice code normal form or BCNF. In this video, we will clear the concept of first normal form. So without wasting any time, let us start after a short intro. So let us start. A table or a relation can either be in first normal form or cannot be in first normal form. For a table to be in a first normal form, there are some conditions. Table must not contain composite attributes and must not contain multi-valued attributes. What is composite attribute? It is an attribute which can be further divided into parts. For example, name attribute. It can be divided into first name middle name and last name or another example can be address which can be divided into street landmark city state pin code etc so if a table contains such composite attributes it is not in first normal form what is multi-valued attribute it is an attribute which can have multiple values for single entity for example Mobile number is a multi-valued attribute. An individual can have multiple mobile numbers. Or another example can be of courses. An individual student can be registered to multiple courses. So if table contains such multi-valued attribute, it is not in first normal form. So if I show you this table and ask you whether it is in first normal form, your answer will be no. It is not in the first normal form. It contains name attribute which is a composite attribute and it contains mobile number which is a multi-valued attribute. So this table or relation is not in the first normal form. But if we take a look at this table, it is the same table but with some modifications. This table is in first normal form because we divided the composite attribute name into three simple attributes first name, middle name and last name and the multi-valued attribute mobile number we created two separate columns mobile number and alternate mobile number so this table does not contain composite and multi-valued attribute and therefore this table is in first normal form so if the table is not in first normal form, we can implement various methods to convert it into first normal form. Let us start with composite attribute. As we saw previously, name attribute is a composite attribute, which are not allowed. So we divide it into first name, middle name and last name. So the composite attribute is divided into simple attributes. Another example can be address. We can divide this composite attribute into house number, street name, city and pin code. This method can be used to remove the composite attributes from the relation or table. Second, we will take a look at multi-valued attribute. In previous example, we saw that in a table, every individual had two mobile numbers. So we divided that multi-valued mobile number attribute in two attributes mobile number and alternate mobile number but we cannot guarantee that every individual will have only two mobile numbers 
In some cases, one may have three mobile numbers. One can also have just one mobile number. The number can vary. So in this case, the maximum value is three. So we make three different columns. This is a solution, but definitely not an optimal one. One better solution on this is creating two different tables and taking the help of foreign key. So in the first table, we will have ID and name. Here ID is a primary key. And another table will be ID, mobile number and employee ID, where employee ID will be foreign key referencing to the primary key of this table. So if a person has just one mobile number, that record can be added in this table. Individual having two values for mobile number, that will be added as two tuples in this table. And if one has three values for mobile number, three individual tuples will be added in this table. So in this way, the multi-valued attribute is turned into single-valued attribute. This is another way of removing multi-valued attribute from the table. So by using these methods, you can convert the table into first normal form. That's all for this video. Hope you all understood the concept of first normal form and how to convert a table into first normal form. If my videos help you in clearing the concept, or your doubts, leave a like and share the video with others in need. And for more such videos, subscribe my channel Making IT Simple and press the bell icon to get latest video notifications. See you in the next video. Thank you.